You are listening to an episode from The Vault. These are previous Cologne podcast episodes that we considered lost, but they have been uncovered and are presented to you in their original format. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Clone Podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. Just two best friends giving their uneducated opinion on the world of fragrances. That's correct. Today, we're taking a look at Anthony Hopkins fragrance. What's it called? Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, it's just AA, so I'm assuming that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it could be short for Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you what Mondo from Fragrantica has to say. Smelling a decant, I got it recently, and this is a much improved version of Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. You're pretty versed in that one, right? Yeah. Okay. This is full bottle worthy, in my opinion. Hmm. It's Neroli cranked up to the 10th degree. Interesting. And I actually have, I think we have Neroli Portofino here. So if we okay, if we want to compare it, we have that option. <laughs> but first, <laughs> let's take a trip back in time. Okay. To when we joined the boys. We went clubbing. We went clubbing <laughs> with Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Hit it, Todd. Yeah. One night stand review. Well, Woo. after spending the night <laughs> with Ralph Lauren, it's a club full of homies. <laughs> Dude, he took us to some seedy club, man. <laughs> yeah. Here's what we kept saying. So we did the episode and then we just kind of sat around and pouted. Our, pouted for a little while. Our frustration was when you think of like a sort of exclusive club that mm-hmm. you get into, you don't think it's going to be like this wide reaching mass appeal sort of a thing. You think it's going to be something that's like set apart. It's yep. going to be something that's intriguing and dark and mysterious. And only a few people get it. That's right. Yep. It only applies to a few special individuals. Mm-hmm. Maybe a members only club, if you will. Yes. I'm talking like speaker box and the love below. <laughs> In this case... It just smelled like they were trying to go after the Sauvage type market. It's funny. I didn't smell it at first, but then when we went off air, we yeah. went radio silent. Okay. <laughs> and we were pouting because we were mad. We we're a little upset about it because it's a cool ass looking bottle. And it's kind of hype. Yeah. Ralph's Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we were just, we were really excited for it. It was going to be hopefully something different. But when we sat there and we pouted for a bit, I smelled my hands some more. I was like, it really does start to smell a little bit like something that's similar to Sauvage. It's like, good God. I don't know, man. (sighs) All in all, it was just a big disappointment. It really is. If this is something that they're going, okay, we're starting a new line. This is going to be something completely different. Yeah. It just kind of smelled like something else we've smelled before. And maybe I'm spoiled, okay? I'll admit it. Maybe I'm a little bratty here, okay? Well, there's no arguing that, (laughs) Ryan. But when I smell scents like this that are ridiculously safe and super soapy clean, that smells cheap to me. Instantly, it smells cheap. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're buying it at retail. Dude, if you didn't tell me what that was and you just... Whatever. Try, try to get me a guess the price on I'd be like, man, that's like probably a $30 cologne or something. We need to compare it against Prada Loam. I've never smelled Prada Loam, but I hear Prada Loam is just the soapiest, squeakiest, cleaniest sort of a thing. Hmm. I probably wouldn't like it then. If you like these type of smells, it does hang on. It is pungent, potent, performing. Yeah. All the peepees, you're going to get them. <laughs> But for us, when we're trying to give you listeners something special, yeah, we're just a little bit bummed out when it's something that feels pretty generic and it's a new hyped sort of. Yeah, that's what know. we were kind of run into for a while. We kind of ran into a snag with, you know, it was Ultramall and One Million and Azaro's Wanted. The, the most wanted. Yeah. They, once you start smelling and they all start smelling the same, it gets really boring and it's hard. It really is hard to describe something when you feel like you've smelled it a million times. And that's what this smelled like. Just smelled clean. Well, let's get on to our Neroli Portofino extraordinaire, <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Ah. <laughs> 
Anthony Hopkins is a cool cat, man. He really is. Without a doubt. You know, he's uh, done composer work before, too. You ever seen that shit on YouTube? <laughs> no, like compose the music? Yeah, like an orchestra. Wow. Like, I'm talking like a, it was a big deal, and he got to hear a composition he fully composed in front of a huge crowd for the first time. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. It's pretty cool. Man, that guy... I'm trying to be easy with this. Yeah, this one doesn't come with an atomizer. It's one of these little vial. Yeah, you're going to get it all over you, but it is what it is. And you're versed in Neroli Portofino. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So you tell me. Me personally, I'm kind of liking it. But keep it 100. Give me that 100 emoji, dog. (laughs) See, Neroli Portofino, to me has more of a like a citrus vibe to it yeah now, the citrus is not the neroli note yeah uh, if i need to get technical ryan <laughs> <laughs> basically from what i've learned from kind of reading about neroli is that it's an orange blossom that they use a special type of compression with something yeah like certain pounds and i don't know austin was trying to tell us about it that's at right the scent room the other day but yeah basically it is neroli is a specific type of extraction process to get the aroma oil out of the orange blossom got you that's what i'm getting from well as a person that's said. not versed in any of that and when i just hear orange blossom This is what I would think smells like orange blossom. It smells really good to me. It smells like an old timey soap to me. It does. I'll agree with that. And I mean, that's what like whenever I smell like a neroli rich sort of a fragrance, I'm kind of like, yeah, it kind of smells like grandma soap. Yeah. I don't hate it. I wonder if this dries into anything. I don't know. We just sprayed it. I think the thing is when we, (laughs) well, first of all, we didn't spray it, Ryan. There's no atomizer. We dabbed it. <laughs> but smelling it, I wonder if it kind of settles into anything interesting because I'm trying to sniff it and imagine Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one thing cool about this. First off, it's $75 for 100 ml. And if I understand it correctly, I think you can also put in, in all caps, save 50 <laughs> and get 50% off of it. So it's like already discounted and it's like 3750 I think. You can get 100 ml of this. Wow. I mean, coming off of the haunches of Ralph's Club. I think this smells way better than that or pure excess for that matter. Well, I think it's just it's different. Yeah. And that kind of excites us. It does. It's a pretty scent. And oh, one other thing I was finding out with this. So this or and he also makes candles, by the way. This would probably be a pretty bomb candle. Oh, for sure. So if you buy any of his products on his website, he actually donates to a I think it's like no kid goes hungry type of thing. So anything you buy, he donates personally to this uh, charity for children so they can be fed and all this stuff. That's cool. It is kind of cool. So it does have some kind of good going behind it instead of just purchasing something. You know, Well, I mean, it's nice to see somebody who one has been super successful in their career and sitting on millions of dollars that, you know, they say once you get up to the top, it's nice just to send the elevator back down for everyone else. You know what I mean? I agree. And I feel like that seeing people who kind of give back and be a part of that, that's pretty awesome. Very altruistic. I'm going to say this right now. Whatever this is drying down to on the cardstock, I find it absolutely amazing. It is super gorgeous to me. If you honestly get this for 35 bucks, well, we'll hold off on that. Yeah. I will say this. I can see Anthony Hopkins wearing this. For sure. When I smell it on the skin and that, I don't know if Neroli is a note in here, but since everybody said it in the reviews, I'm just going to go with that. Okay. (laughs) But when that kind of dips down, because I feel like it dips down a little bit on the skin, I can smell a certain masculinity to it, but there's definitely some maturity to it as well. There is. I like it. I'm At least on the cardstock, I'm actually loving it on the cardstock. It's really pretty to me. It's an interesting one. Now, this is unisex, too. Do you want to smell Neroli Portofino, or you think it would be? Throw it on there. Let's smell it. I mean, when people start making accusations that it smells like a better version of something, I kind of personally want to smell. Well, we haven't done an episode on this. We haven't? Oh, we did Noir, De Noir, didn't we? No. What? Which one do we do? We did one more besides Ombre Leather. Oud Wood. That's it. Yeah, I got confused. 
Man, this smells good as hell. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, see, I don't know if I can go with old Mongo here if he says it's better than Neroli Portofino. Dude, he's a goddamn liar. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we might need to do an episode on Neroli Portofino, my friend. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it next episode. We're, do- we're doing this one. Okay. Next episode, Neroli Portofino, but still, let's keep cruising with Anthony Hopkins' okay. Neroli bomb. Let's just go ahead and say it. Mondo's a liar. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's nowhere <laughs> It's nowhere in the same hemisphere. It's a good scent, but it's not in the same hemisphere as Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Not even close. Yeah. And now it's almost a disjustice to go back to yeah. what are people- injustice. Sorry. I guess that's what's so interesting about people's noses and how they take in scents because I don't know how somebody smells that, then picks this up, and then they go, oh, yeah. This, yeah this. Exactly the same, yeah. only better. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot more mild. It's not as in your face as the Tom Ford you just sprayed just now. Yeah, and also Neroli has, at least from what I can tell, my uneducated nose, Yeah, it, it has kind of a stinkiness to it. Yeah. It has like a little pungentness. I'm going to say this still. This is a pretty fragrance. Yes, it is. I do like it. I do too. I think it's an interesting one if you are more mature, let's yeah, I say. Agree. I agree. I don't think it's for a young man. No. I'd but say, I'd say somebody in their 50s. Late 50s. Yeah, or older and highly intelligent. Sure. Uh, probably surgical. <laughs> With a scalpel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe loves raw meat. Yes. <laughs> Let me say rare meat because I want to say he was cooking it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I know where you're going with this one, Ryan, and I'm assuming <laughs> you're talking about Hannibal, the one and only Sir Anthony Hopkins. I like the smell. It's It doesn't do any justice compared to something that heavy with Tom Ford, but I will say- this is a really pretty scent on its own. Yeah. It is not a scent for everyone. No. I think it's leaps and bounds over what we just smelled the past two ones, for sure. I agree with that. So, bravo to Anthony Hopkins. This is an amazing outing. If This is his first yeah. fragrance. First, it is his first one, yeah. So, I love it. I'm yeah. glad he didn't go with something safe. I am, too. That's what I keep saying. I want at least take a gamble. You know. I can see it. Like smelling it, I could see it go, oh, I could see where this comes from. The heart, soul, mind, imagination of Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. knighted Sir Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Skip it. Sample it. Buy it. What are you going to do? I'm going to say this, and maybe this is kind of, this is probably frugal and cheap of me, but if that save 50 really does work on this already a $75 bottle that's 100 ml, and it's an Eau de Parfum, if I can get that for $37.50, I don't know, I might buy it, man. That's a pretty good scent. If you're listening, we have a very small minority of listeners that are kind of 55 and above. Yeah. But if you're listening and you're 55 and above, I think this is one that you should get a sample of like Ryan did yeah. and check it out and see what you think about it. It's very distinguished. I think you got to, you got to have some hella swagger to pull it off. Yeah. Like you got to be saying something. You can't just, this isn't going to be like a, your standard fragrance. You just kind of splash on this. Yeah. This isn't a t-shirt and whatever walking. No, out. this is your dress a little bit nicer. This is, you're wanting to say something with your fragrance. Yeah. Go that route. Man, really anybody 50 and under, I think there's other options out there. If you're dropping 35 bucks, that would be better suited. I agree. So I want some more here while you're going on. Uh, for anybody that's 100 or up, <laughs> <laughs> I will say go to their website. It's like anthonyhopkins.com or something. But go there and you can get a free sample of this. I oh, think yeah. all, all you have to do is just pay the shipping, which was like a dollar. It's worth doing. Check yeah. it out. Seriously. It's pretty cool. And Mark, if you're listening to this, maybe grab a bottle to offer some bigger decants for those who are interested. With an atomizer. Yes. That are interested in getting a sample that they can actually spray on and enjoy. Yeah. Especially if you get it for 37 bucks. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. If you want to help us with this podcast, one thing you can do that we would really appreciate is share it. Mm-hmm. That's all we need. Look, I'm neither going to confirm nor deny that Mike and I search to see if people have shared our podcast. We're watching you. (laughs) But I know we haven't (laughs) been shared. (laughs) I've shared it a couple of times. I'm in a couple of groups. Here's what I do. 
I wait till it's relevant. It's a relevant thing. Yeah. We're not the type of guys that go out blasting. Look what we're doing. I think I did one pod, or I did one <laughs> post like that. But <laughs> typically we're not like, look, everybody, we made a podcast, you know. <laughs> but if somebody goes, what do you think about Versace Dylan Blue? And I like to say, hey, me and a friend did an episode on it, did it in depth, 16 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> and we kind of tagged that up there for the person asking. But we don't do large broadcasts. Check this out. So if you're in a conversation and you feel like it's relevant, please share the podcast. We'd love that. For sure. And for me, I'm kind of a little bit more behind the curtain, chill, kind of hiding. I lurk. Yeah. Like He's, I need a you need to give me a bottle of tic tacs to hang around me so you can hear me coming. I call him Kermit the Hermit. <laughs> but I've been following our boy John and one of those little fragrance communities and I Todd bleep out that last name. <laughs> but uh John, old Johnny boy, he, he actually said something pretty funny about his collection. Somebody was saying, I hope my kids I have something to pass my kids down to and he's like, Well I've got a daughter, so I guess she can sell it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Somebody, I made you see that. Yeah, but... I made sure to laugh at it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, if you appreciate our podcast like our friend John does, be sure to catch us next episode when we check out Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. There you go. Spray it up, y'all.